I'm part of a group of pioneering facilitators in the 70s who were basically on the West Coast bringing design-type thinking and methods to the general population. I graduated from college and got hired by a leadership development organization and got hooked on experience-based leadership training. This whole work of the Grove grew out of getting the trainees in those programs to start understanding their experience. So we started drawing on the wall, diagramming City Hall, looking at the flow of political campaigns, mapping our group process, and I just discovered that when you start drawing pictures with groups and start reflecting what they say, that amazingly creative and productive things start happening. Grove started out running visual meetings. Pretty quickly after that, we started training people how to do this, and then we married the training programs with a tools production group that actually makes guides, templates, markers even, sticky notes and all the paraphernalia. So we are the go-to people for visual meetings and visual organizational process. If you really want to make a meeting engaging, the first thing is to make it clear what you want out of the meeting. Second thing is get everybody in the same boat with an agenda. Third and fourth thing, be clear about your role and how you're going to work it. That way you get some flexibility. Are you a team leader or a facilitator? Finally, get clear on ground rules. This increased level of engagement really turns people on. If you do it right, the quiet people speak up. The people who like to move around don't have to sit in their chairs. You actually can work out all kinds of exercises where they cooperate, so they remember more. I'm totally motivated to teach people how to work in groups and how to get results, how to be creative. We need every bit we can get.